What is up, YouTube? Today we are going to take a tour of my Ghidorah deck. I got this as a box topper uh, from the only draft booster box of Ikoria that I purchased, and I was absolutely shocked to get it, and in all of its foily, beautiful glory. So I bought a, uh, a, a Nether Commander deck from 2020 and tore it apart and took all the cards, the key cards out of it, and put this one together instead. So basically I pulled out the Arcane Signet and the Sol Ring and uh, the Command Tower and whatnot. So I have an extra copy of Aluna so that way you can see the original card itself, which is absolutely cool. And I pulled that naturally out of a bundle pack, so... Ghidorah and Ghidorah. I got a beast token by Darken from Card Kingdom. I like ordering cards through them. They're a very good source for very nice condition cards and uh, their shipping is quite fast. I got a foil Kraken token from Ikoria and I bought a booster pack of it and got this and I was actually pretty happy about that. A Kraken token from Theros. Uh, figured, uh, what deck do I have that runs Krakens? Well, this deck can. A Shock. Yeah, yeah, boy. Be careful of these things. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, okay, so Icy Blast. So these three cards are right here. I bought specifically for Ghidorah. I wanted it to have a Freeze Ray, a Flame Ray, and some sort of green growth ray. So I got Icy Blast. So it freezes my opponent. Uh, it is not in the deck. It is a sideboardable. Disintegrate, because Ghidorah will roast your head off. And Stream of Life, because uh, you never know when you want to gain some life. And Ghidorah can make that happen. I got this cool little counter from the uh, Core 20 or Commander 2020 thingy. I actually do really like this. This is pretty cool. It's a bit on the cheap side, but uh, very, very neat. And then uh, my box uh, came with this, so I have this and the box. I did not get the sleeves, though, oddly, which I thought I had ordered. Uh, but I guess it wasn't in the same kind of set that I thought. All right. So we'll start with the green component. We got Colossification. I would love to make something 2020 and schmack somebody with it. A Sawtust Demolisher from the Commander 2020 uh, set and uh, had to have it. It's a Mutate card. I have every single blue, red, and green Mutate card in here that I could possibly have. Kogla. This thing is too expensive for a three-color deck, so I might have to take that out of there. Vivian, Monster's Advocate. Auspicious Starix, a Migratory Great Horn, Gem Reza, Slippery Bog Bonder, that's a Commander 2020 card, Obscuring Haze, now I want all three of these uh, Commander based free cards, but uh, I just got this one and I think the black one, so uh, I would really like the blue one, the red one, and the green one, so uh, I have the green one, thankfully. Lead the Stampede. A glowstone recluse. Be careful, that spider is just creeping up. Wilt. Always got to have our artifact and enchantment destruction. A humble naturalist. I would like to have this card in foil. I think it's a, a really nice artwork and uh, a very useful card. Savage or Essence Symbiote. I don't know why I was going to say Savage. This is just an adorable critter. I would have these running all over my house if I could. And they would probably eat me in my sleep. Uh, greater, or Almighty Brush Rat Wag. So this card is Beast. And then we got all these wonderful forests. I made sure to buy these on the cheap. Uh, so that way I could get them. Even though they come in bundles, I would have preferred not to buy too many bundles this time. Out of Eldrain set, I bought a eight bundles to keep all the cards in their separate categories and that was quite an expensive uh, investment uh, but at least all my Eldraine cards are secure. Uh, Archipelagor, 
Archipelago. Shout out to Old School MTG, like watching your channel too, bro. Shark Typhoon. Everybody loves a shark tornado. Uh, unless you're getting eaten by a shark, in which case you are not happy. Boon of the Wish Giver, a Luna deck. Must have an Aluna card in here. Dream Tail Heron, mutate. Commander 2020, Souvenir Snatcher, mutate. Pouncing Shore Shark. A uh, Voracious Great Shark. Now I pulled all the red, blue, and green rares and mythics out of the Ikoria set that I could and put them in here except for that blue Commander card. Uh, Mythos of Aluna and the red, uh, red free casters. Uh, sea Dasher Octopus. Essence Scatter. A Nascent Metamorph. Now this card is just adorable. And it's so... I don't know. I love the chaos element that it adds. When, you, when you're attacking somebody, you could get a 4-4, which I have. And you can get a 3-1, which will kill it immediately. So <laughs> Keep safe. Polywog Symbiote. Poor baby Godzilla. Eh, you poor thing. That's a cool card, though. Ominous Seas. This is my Kraken creator. And then we got the islands. This is such beautiful artwork. I absolutely love this land in this set. So I made sure to get plenty of those. Uh, there's some more. Uh, I did buy one bundle box of Ikoria and got a four set of each of these. So I am happy to get that. Uh, also kind of happy to see that those full art, or special art, Core tw uh, 21 lands are in a bundle pack. So you can foil out your decks really beautifully with those. Uh, so I hope people do that and enjoy it. Uh, Yadaro, this card is next to useless in here because uh, there's only one. Unpredictable Cyclone, just like some some chaotic element in a deck. Cloud Piercer from Mutate. Luca, this dude is seriously overpowered and crazy. Uh, glad to have him in this deck. Everquill Phoenix. I absolutely love this artwork over the extended alternate artwork. We got a Tentative Connection. Porky Parrot. A proud wild bonder. This card is actually pretty harsh. It just allows tramples to just, man, straight to the face. You can't block. Straight to the face. Go for blood. And then my favorite mountain out of this set. Honestly, this is one of my most favorite mountains produced so far through magic. Uh, and I really am glad I got a foil one of these out of a uh, that one collector booster box. Or a collector booster that I bought. So I ordered some more too from Card Kingdom as well, just to add that in there a bit more. Just love that mountain, it is so nice. There we go. Uh, all the lands are even, even though the color, uh, the colors are not completely even. But I tried to uh, tried to account for some of the costs in here. This thing runs really nice. You would probably love playing with this deck if you had it. And if you decide to build it, I hope that this uh, gives you some uh, some inspiration. Whisper Silk Cloak, gotta have it in here. A uh, Crystalline Giant, that is a cool card. Swift Foot Boots, I wish I had more Shroud and Hexproof stuff in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to eventually get more. Arcane Signet. Ozolith, gotta have it in here. Mysterious Egg, I really want the Japanese version, gosh darn it, but it is expensive for some odd reason, even though it is a common one cost, just colorless card. Oh my goodness. Oh well, that is what artwork is worth. It's just, if it's beautiful, it's beautiful. What can I say? Sol Ring. Genesis Ultimatum, I have been able to cast this in this deck, and it is awesome. Karuga the Macro Sage, in here for no particular reason other than he matches the colors. Quartzwood Crasher, this card is awesome. Oh man, just awesome. Parcel Beast, I love this card. I wish I could have gotten it in the foil alternate version because uh, it's really shiny from what I've seen in other people's openings. Calamax the Storm Sire, I ordered that singly. I was going to buy the deck of it, but I could not find the deck, so I had to order him singly for this deck. 
because he belongs in here. Laura Dracus. Lutri. I know he's banned everywhere, but he goes in my deck. I do not use companions as companions. That is just terrible, broken mechanic. And I agree that it is a terrible, broken mechanic. Uh, Tim Timur Charm. As a singular card, though, in the 99, it's a cool, cool card. Rial the Everwise. Trumpeting Gnar. I like this artwork more than the alternate. A far finder, such a cute little fox. That is a handy card. Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, gotta have him in here. Sprite Dragon, I pulled this foil naturally, and uh, I'm surprised that it actually holds the price that it does. Swiftwater Cliffs, a Rugged Highlands, a Thornwood Falls, I just got a foil of this out of 21, so it is in here now. Evolving Wilds, I actually really like the artwork on this. This card is totally overpowered, and they should print it in every set. I don't know why they don't. Uh, shout out to Joey Moss for that little inside joke. Terramorphic Expanse. Field of Ruin. Myriad Landscape. Exotic Orchard. Bonders Enclave. Alchemist Refuge, I pulled this out of a mystery booster, I didn't know what to put it in, and it goes in this deck, I have not been able to use it to cast a creature as Flash, but that's okay. Someday I will. A Frontier Bivouac, uh, I'm wondering if that's pronounced Bivouac, or if there's like Biwac, I, I have no clue, I think it's Bivouac, but I don't know. I naturally pulled a Ketria Triome. I was very, very happy about this. Came in that one bundle I bought, and man, <laughs> so glad to have it. Would have loved the full art, but having that is fine. And of course, a Command Tower. I uh, hope that this inspires you and lets you see that uh, you can build decks just straight out of a set if you really wanted to, if you didn't feel like just mashing in all the standard commander staples into everything, which is what a lot of people do nowadays. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this gives you an idea on how to make a set, somewhat set-specific kind of deck, and uh, this thing plays very clean, very efficient, um, and uh, you can pause it and check it out at any time, see what kind of stuff you want to add to it or not. Personally, I would like to leave it as is, as a Ikoria Mutate deck. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I will do more uh, as time goes on here, because I have a few commander decks, but I mostly have a lot of standard decks. So... Uh, I'm going to show off all my decks on this channel and uh, all my dice, of course. Uh, you cannot play this game without dice and tokens and whatnot. So, uh, man, wait until you see what I have in store. Thank you for your time and uh, have a good evening.